in this English lesson, I wanted to help you learn the English phrase in charge of. When you are in charge of something, it means you're the boss. It means you're the person who has authority. Um, as a teacher, I am in charge of my classroom. I am in charge of the students who are in that room. I have the authority. In some ways, I'm kind of the boss. When you go to work, your boss is in charge of you. Your boss has authority. Your boss can tell you what to do. Your boss is definitely in charge when you are at work. Um, the other phrase I wanted to teach you today is the phrase to get a charge out of. Sorry, I'm a little distracted. There's cats meowing here. I'll show you in a moment. They're waiting for Jen to come home and feed them. Anyways, when you get a charge out of something, it means it's exciting for you. Um, when I go skating, I get a charge out of skating. It reminds me of my youth. It's exciting for me. I do really love to go to the arena and do some skating. I definitely get a charge out of it. So when you get a charge out of something, it means it's exciting for you. It's something you like to do. It's something that you enjoy. So to review, when you are in charge of something, it means you're the boss. You're, you're the person who has the authority. You're the person who can tell other people what to do. You are in charge. And when you get a charge out of something, it means that um, you're doing something that's exciting for you. Um, some people get a charge out of um, maybe driving fast on the road. Maybe that's exciting for them. You should never do that. But did I just wave my finger at you? That's a real teacher move. Don't do that. Um, when you get a charge out of something, it's exciting for you and you enjoy doing it. Um, let's look at a comment from a previous video. Sorry, I'm, I'm laughing at my uh, don't do that. That's a real, um, that's definitely a real teacher move to use your finger like this to say, don't do that. That's wrong. Uh, but let's look at a comment from a previous video. This comment is from Mode Eggs. Judging by your energy in this video, I'd say you're feeling 100% now, maybe even 110%. I mean, you were walking into a headwind through some snow while holding the camera and talking. Thank you, strong Mr. Bob. And my response, I am definitely feeling 100% now, although I still have a short nap in the afternoon. Yeah, I definitely feel 100%. I feel great. Um, I have to say that uh, I don't feel even the least bit sick anymore. I'm gonna show you some of the cats that we have here as I walk. There's a cat here, there's a cat here, there's a couple cats here. What has happened, uh, Jen has left to get some groceries. She'll be back probably in about 15 or 20 minutes. But right now is the time when she normally goes to the barn and she feeds the chickens and she feeds the cats and she uh, usually feeds Oscar around the same time. By the way, Oscar, is over here by this tree that I still have to clean up. He smells something under the snow and he's out hunting a little bit. But yes, uh, the cats, I think they have an internal clock. They sense that this is the time of day when Jen normally feeds them. And so they're kind of waiting for her. Um, cats and animals are kind of smart that way. Anyways, yes, mode eggs, I'm feeling a lot better. Um, tomorrow is actually the first day. Actually, when you're watching this video, will be my first day back at work for second semester. I saw a vehicle, I thought it might actually be Jen, but it's not. Um, and I'm looking forward to it. I think it'll be a good day. I'm looking forward to meeting some new students. I'm looking forward to teaching. Um, by the way, isn't it just beautiful when you look at the background? I really like where I live. And I really like winter, but I think I've said that probably too many times. Anyways, I'll see you in a couple days with another short English lesson. Bye.